Welcome to Houseplant Tips by the Houseplant Guy. Join me as we go through the ABCs of everything houseplants. Today we're going to be talking about managing space for houseplants. Quite often, when considering growing houseplants, we often overlook the fact that plants are continuously growing and will eventually become larger and sometimes outgrow their space. A plant may be suitable for a small space at first, but as it matures, it requires more room to grow. In order to save floor space, some plants may be grown as hanging baskets. For hanging baskets, you may be required to attach brackets to the walls or hooks on the ceilings to be able to hang your plants. Other than hanging baskets, to save floor space, plants may be elevated on plant stands or pedestals. Plant stands come in varying heights and designs, and some have multiple tiers or levels. They are often made of metal, but other styles are available made of materials such as concrete, plastic, wood, or resin. When obtaining a plant stand, examine it carefully to decide whether it is strong enough to handle the weight of the plant. Plant stands can allow you to position your plants closer to brighter light and sometimes to grow a slightly wider variety of plants. Lighting can be a limiting factor for the kinds of plants you want to grow. It also affects the direction in which your plants grow. Plants tend to bend or grow towards the source of light. To maintain a more even plant structure, you should rotate your plant pot regularly so that all sides of the plant receives equal amount of light exposure. Plants can become misshapen if allowed to remain in the same spot without rotation. In these cases, they do not fully utilize the space that's available. A good habit is to rotate your plant every time you water it. You can position them on wheeled plant dollies or caddies. These are usually available in various styles and levels of quality. You should look for ones that can withstand the weight of your plant and with strong wheels for smooth and easy mobility. Some plant dollies have a built-in plant saucer that is very useful for managing drainage, especially for larger plants. If your plants must be placed directly on the floor, there are floor protectors available to prevent damage to your floor surfaces. Some are made of corkboard and plastics, while others are made of clear plastic. Some plastic floor protectors double up as plant saucers being able to catch drainage water from your plant. When possible, choose good quality floor protectors that are less susceptible to breakage, especially when moving around heavy plant pots. They should also be able to withstand being hit during household activities like sweeping or vacuuming. When plants become overgrown for their space, there are different remedies to resolve the issue. You can move them to another spot in the room as long as the lighting is sufficient. Or, if you wish to keep them in the same spot, you will have to reduce their size. For some plants that have visible stems, pruning or cutting back stems or branches may be an option to maintain a smaller size. It is better to use proper tools like sharp pruning shears for this purpose. If a plant is non-branching and grows in a clump, the root ball can be physically divided to reduce the size of the plant. These are just general guidelines and may not apply to all plants. Always do proper research for specific plant species to decide the best way to maintain the size and shape. See other videos on the Plant Gallery series by the Houseplant Guy. This is part of the Plants Guide video series. Please check all the videos in this series to get more information on the Plants Guide. Remember to like this video, subscribe and hit the notification bell for new videos. Also check the links to my Facebook page and Instagram in the video description below. Thanks for watching Houseplant Tips by the Houseplant Guy and see you again.